Right, uh, if you can make me laugh, uh, I'll take you home tonight. <laughs> so funny, let's go. <laughs> nice. We're likely going to be forced to listen to transphobic bigotry. Because actually, protecting female athletes in Title IX is important. Participating in sports provides so many benefits to our young people. Ranking Member Lee, if my tes testimony makes me transphobic, then I believe your opening monologue makes you a misogynist. Thank you. I move to have uh, the gentlewoman's words taken down. Madam Chair, she's engaging in personalities. Can I just ask how it's fair to be called transphobic? There's a thing. I would say men disguising themselves as women are engaging in personalities. Order. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Order, order. Let's let's get a ruling. The chair. Okay, I move to withdraw the point of All right, so you've got Representative Summer Lee, US politician. Opening monologue was basically saying we're going to be forced to listen to transphobic bigotry and saying that we're going to be sitting through hateful misinformation when she's talking about Riley Gaines. Riley Gaines, the former swimmer, basically then said, well, if you think I'm transphobic, you're basically a misogynist. And then the US politician Summer Lee had a problem. And now all of a sudden you're engaging in personalities, but you just did it to her. So you've done it to her. And now she's doing it back to you and you've got a problem, which is hilarious. It's like one rule for you and another for everyone else, isn't it? And you start your monologue by saying, basically anyone who disagrees with me is transphobic and spreading hateful misinformation. But Riley Gaines is a former US swimmer and she's actually had to compete against Leah Thomas, who's a biological male. She's had first-hand experience as a top-level athlete and she understands how unfair it really is. And she's standing up for women, but because she's not going along with the agenda and you've got no argument to back, your, to back up what you believe, then you're trying to say, oh no, yeah, you're just spreading hateful misinformation and you're a transphobe. Representative Lee wanted to deny the same right she enjoys to someone else because that person used that right in opposition to how she feels. Basically saying you can have free speech, but only if you agree with me. That's kind of funny to me because if you look at history, people who, people who try to suppress free speech have never been the good guys, ever. Using a leftist logic against him never gets old. Are you voting for Trump? Yep. White supremacist. How? How can you say that? If you vote for Donald Trump, you're a white supremacist. How? Because you support that man in office. That's not an argument. I'm gonna need proof that that makes me a white supremacist. You're gonna have to break I down the I, argument. I it's not my job to say that. You just accused me of being a white supremacist. You should you be able to back that Trump? up. Are you voting for Donald Trump? I sure that's am. My, that's my proof. Are you voting for Joe Biden? Yes, I am. Then you're a pedophile. No. You're a pedophile. Oh. You like to sniff kids. Come on, that should be like an eye opener for that woman. You're there throwing around a buzzword. But then when you get asked to explain yourself, you can't explain it and you refuse to explain it. This kind of proves that you're not thinking for yourself. You're just repeating what you've heard. So the issues we're having today is because of people like this. They're closed minded. They're not willing to just use a bit of logic and common sense to think about what they actually mean. They're too emotionally involved at this point. And the other woman just flipped her logic on her and she was like, oh no, she was left speechless. <laughs> Haven't you noticed that when a guy pays for everything in the relationship, she's getting taken care of, but when she pays for everything in the relationship, he's a bum? Oh. Haven't you noticed that when a woman can't pay for her kids, she gets subsidy, but when a guy can't pay for his, he gets jail? Oh. Have you noticed that in a relationship, if a man yells, it's because he's an asshole, but if she yells, it's because he needs to learn how to not make her so angry and listen. From March to August. In that time span, I cheated on him with nine other dudes, which two of them lived in his area. I honestly feel sad when driving past his house. When I found out he was cheating, I cried so much. <laughs> I couldn't believe he would do something like that to me. But he still doesn't know I cheated on him. Wow. <laughs> I cried I so cried much. So much. <laughs> How dare you? Family! Oh, women are Are you schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> Big man ting! Are you schizophrenic? What the f- I cried so much! <laughs> This guy just broke up with his girl right on the spot. So basically there's a loyalty trust game trending on TikTok and all you have to do for this game is for both people in a relationship to exchange phone numbers. And first up to swap phones is the boyfriend. I'm gonna switch phone for 60 seconds. That's cool with you. 
Yeah. Who's you? Yeah. That's his best friend. His mom. His sister. His cousin. Hold on, so you know everybody through the phone? Yeah. Basically, okay. Now keep in mind, this couple has been together for over a year and everything was clean on the boyfriend's side. And once it was time for the girlfriend to show her phone, things got pretty awkward and it got awkward really fast. So both y'all got your phone? Yeah, my phone. Right. It died. It died. It dies. No, it died. You trust me. You trust me. Why are you gonna believe him? Oh, man, he passed the test, but she fell. Yeah. I passed. Wow, she's like a walking red flag. That's the best thing that ever happened to him, getting out of that relationship. He passed the test. She's been passed around the streets. If you sum up the woke movement today in every aspect, environmental, social, cultural, economic, it is that any inequality anywhere in the Western world can be attributed yep. to some sort of exploitation doesn't matter about a person's individual circumstances, whether they're aggressively a workaholic or inert or lazy, or whether they have good genes or bad genes, or whether they have a big inheritance or whether they have a bad back. All the millions of things that we can't, we can't control. So we say to ourselves, we want a quality of opportunity. Everybody gets a, a, an equal shot, and we'll try to help people that have uh, disadvantages, but no. It's that person is not like that person. I'm anointed to adjudicate on the back end. I'm gonna have an equality of result and I need power. This is the motto of everybody from Pol Pot to Stalin to Mao. Power. It's about power. Check this out. This is one of the best comments ever. Free people are not equal. Equal people are not free. So think about that. You want to control people and make everyone equal or do you want people to just go their own way, do their own thing and the best will rise to the top? Just like in sports, yeah, you wouldn't want to control that, would you? In the NBA or the NFL, the best people get selected, don't they? It's not done by, oh, let's make it fair. No, whoever is the best is going to get in, simple as that, and they're going to rise to the top. And the reason for that is not everybody is equal. Some people are naturally gifted. Some people work harder than others. But with the rest of the world, they want to try and control it. But me personally, I don't think that's a good idea. If I'm going to get on an aeroplane, I don't care who is flying that plane. As long as I know it's the best person for the job. Be delusional. If you don't believe that you are, think that you are. Once you repeat so many times a thing in your head, it's gonna literally come into your life. There is no other way. You can rest now. You made a great job today. Be proud of yourself. You're the bullshit. You could have done better today. Someone forgot that he was his family's last hope. He needs to get back on track before it's too late. Do you want to remain a loser? A lazy shit who can't even stand to run a few miles? Do you want to tell your son, Dad didn't make it because he quit and was too lazy?